Hello and welcome to what I call a new video, and today we are going to be playing Growlpara, but again. Here's a fun fact about Growlpara, um, the thing you really want is National Militia, but you can't really get National Militia because it's a 7% approval rating, but Professional Army is actually also pretty good and you can get that pretty nicely. By just, you know, getting the rural folk also into government here. Researching anything militarily doesn't actually do anything for you because it takes way too long. So we are simply going for a little bit of a Leif Cannery moment. Now, one thing you have to do is get a good old enlistment effort going, because enlistment effort actually uh, gets you a bunch of troops. Speaking of troops, we are also going to uh, go ahead and activate conscription sectors. And Rukuru General over here in Graupara. Unfortunately, none of our generals are very good, but that is fine for now. We are going to advance the front because Brazil doesn't actually have any generals here and they need to get generals over uh, to this front before they can actually do anything. As you can see, this has now gone from 2 to 7. And we have immediately pushed into our war goal here, which is actually this state right here. Now we actually have ourselves an enemy general here. Who is going to win this battle? Now, you might ask why they are winning this battle. Well, that is obviously because uh, we are, don't actually have any, you know, good defenses in our general. And because uh, on the defensive we only, you know, take back a singular territory, a province, I mean, it won't really help us in any sort of way. If we try to get an offensive going in here, we will lose, and that's basically it. Grammar power is one of those uh, where you just have to try, try, and try again. Now, here's a fun thing about Grammar power. The way this is set up is that uh, this can happen. It's it's random what ideology the leader of the landowners has at the start of the game, which is weird. It's weird. It's a very weird thing. Anyways, I'm going for national militia. Obviously, enlistment efforts in both states. Let's try to get ourselves an economy going. It's not going to go. This is the best economy I can get. And we actually got a defensive strategist. Uh, nevertheless, we do have to, uh, you know, push into this territory right here because it is our war goal. So there we uh, diddly do. Now defense and activate the conscription sector. <sighs> unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate if I do say so myself. We were actually able to push them. Oh my god. Okay, uh, uh, well, let's, let's take a look at the peace deal that they proposed. Uh, no. Okay, they got the south, but we now have an advantage over here, so there is no need for us to be pushing. I have a mod installed where multiple battles happen on the front. I... that's unfortunate. Very unfortunate, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so the multiple battles on the same front killed me. Less than ideal. <laughs> Can we white piece? No? Okay. <laughs> there I go. Professional army is, by the way, just a better choice. I don't know why I chose national militia. We did get another defensive guy, which you love to see. Uh, unfortunately, we got an attack. I really hope, I really hope that we are going to win this battle. Oh, we actually are winning on the defensive. You do be loving to see it. Now, we do have an input control of small arms, which is a very bad thing. Now, it says we could push. I am going to push. Okay, we are actually able to push a little bit. But probably not a very good idea. I'm going to go on the defensive now. I did kill a bunch of them. So we might be able to do this. Oh, unfortunately, there is another general on this front now. Well, they are sending them. But they are, they are like, completely annihilated when it comes to war support. So now they attack on two fronts. Well, they attack on one front, but with two separate generals. And they are winning this battle right here, but it should be enough still. Like, we should be fine. We should win this war. We won the war. <laughs> Even with a war mod, that makes it harder. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the enlistment efforts in Para, just so I can get more of these, <laughs> because we are bleeding money. I'm pretty sure we picked up a, uh, yeah, we picked up a construction sector, which is very unfortunate for us. Okay, stop the lap. We're going laissez-faire. Okay, we are now in default, which you hate to see. And we got laissez-faire. It appears that Grand Param is not really a nation supposed to be played, but that's just a theory, a game theory. That synced perfectly. Okay, we have ourselves the Brothers War, um, which is certainly an interesting move. Also, apparently Liberate Pomerania is something Russia really wants. Uh, speaking of Russia, they're currently uh, getting one of these guys. Certainly an interesting move. Uh, per capita taxation didn't go too well, so we are going land-based. 
You might be able to tell I'm struggling with money. Is this Northern State even incorporated? No. <laughs> Why would it be? I guess Prussia was not prepared for the Russian horde. Well, neither was this random Middle Eastern puppet they have. Well, Prussia isn't winning. <laughs> they tried to conquer Austria, like... So Westphalia and Pomerania are going to be free. I'm pretty sure Prussia is going to fall out of their great power status. This logging camp has taken a long while to build. <laughs> Uh, let's get that 10% enactment success chance. And there we go. <laughs> Interesting market you got there, Prussia. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is land-based taxation. Okay, why is it dying? Because I'm not resuming? Do don't do that. Why it queued? <laughs> Me confused. What if I shut them down again? Do I make money? No, I lose 900. Okay. Can we get one tick? Can we get one tick? Okay. That makes it go faster again. And I'm losing money. Okay. Luxury clothes, hey, hey, tax even more stuff. I can't believe that this 17-year-old child is a better leader than I am. What? Why is President Custo de de Barros so shit? State funding campaigns, temporary minimum wage. Also, I, f I, j I just honestly kind of forgot to stop the corn loss. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I guess they can incorporate this now. Uh, hey. 33% chance. We didn't get that. I believe in the dream. I believe in the Turkish dream. Henry's unlocked. Let's go. Finally. <laughs> Upgrade the food industries I haven't built. Ulysses Ransom. <laughs> Me when Ulysses Ransom. Conservative agenda, by the way. Part of the rule folk. Rule folk and the intelligentsia with their conservative agenda added again. Taxes. But now that is an unfortunate. <laughs> so you all hate me now. Which is understandable. But like, I need the money. So, we can go to per capita. Hey, the rule folk would like that. For God's sake. Oh. Guess who wouldn't like that, you fucking little shit. <laughs> like, calm down and get back in. <laughs> losing money. How am I losing money? How am I losing money? How am I losing money? How? <laughs> Good GDP grab, guys. Okay, let's take a look at these guys. Yeah, they're a major power. Would be a shame if someone tax switched and like pressed the button to unify Germany. <laughs> that would be crazy. That would just be crazy. And I got tools? No. Can I get a, can I get a small arms? Yes, you love to see it. And now I can't import anything. Okay, so who's fighting who? We got Liberate Galicia. Okay, it's 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 Austria against Russia and and Prussia. Okay, so so Russia decided to switch a rule on them. Oh, that's why. <laughs> right, let's take a little bit of a gander over here. So they're getting owned. They're getting owned. They're getting owned. Okay. Uh, I do apologize, Austria, man. I didn't mean to. You know, O seven in the chat. Okay. Currently, the revolution they're doing has a twenty two percent chance to get this state and no other state. They will get the zero barracks, one conscription sector state. Anyways, look at Austria. <laughs> so they're gonna liberate Trieste, liberate Galicia, and also the Prussians will get German leadership, and also they have landed voting, even though they have a conservative agenda. So we got these two states now. <laughs> you love to see it. You know what, I wanna piss off the rule folk. Does this piss off the rule folk? No, it don't. What pisses off the rule folk? Hey, what you don't like? You hate everything? Okay, that's awesome. If I go free trade, but I can't do that. Now, if I go dead slavery, then you, then you be a bitch. Are oh, you stopped? Oh, you know, sometimes you just gotta do it, though. I'm losing so much money. <laughs> ah, this is, this is not a good state. I don't think Paradox Interactive for, <laughs> for the Grau Para gameplay. I'm, I'ma be real. So, um, that's, that's crazy. 